Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the show. Everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, going back to San Diego, my favorite San Diego brewery, North Park Beer Company, uh, doing some hoppy lagers. This is Party Cup. I thought I had reviewed this beer before, and I realized I didn't, and I was looking in my fridge, and I had one of these left. So this beer is definitely worthy of a review, so that's what we are going to do. This is a little hashtag T-Mold IPA. Uh, this is a Purdy Label 5% alcohol by volume mosaic lager, um, canned on July 19th. Today is August 28th, so six weeks in the can. Um, it just says mosaic lager, and it is 5% alcohol by volume. Um, North Park kills the hoppy lager game. I know a lot of people say that, you know, beers like this are, I mean, I've heard people be like, oh, those are basically like pale ales that are super hoppy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I kind of disagree. Like they're lagers, they're light, but they're intensely hoppy and amazing. So let's do it, shall we? Every time this beer gets brewed, I buy it. I'm a simple man. I see party cup, I buy it. They do, I think they do variants on this beer. Um, I know they did a collab with Evil Twin. I think they did Evil Cup. They've done a couple other ones, but Mosaic, one of my favorite hops. <clears throat> if you guys aren't into Mosaic hops, you should try getting into it. Um, it's a crazy hop. Um, you get a, a bunch of different like aromas and flavors out of it. Uh, I wasn't like a big Mosaic guy until years, I don't know, five years ago. I was talking to uh, my buddy Eric about it. And uh, once I realized I was, I couldn't figure out what I was smelling and he was like, it's blueberries. Like once you get the blueberry aspect of mosaic, it's like life changing. Mosaic is crazy. It's super dank, very like berry forward. It's a fun hop. So, um, and the time we were just talking that had just <laughs> dissipated and is gone. So it is crystal clear. It is like that straw yellow. It looks like a lager. The head is gone now. There was probably a finger ahead when we uh, poured that, but it is gone. Uh, I've talked about it in other North Park reviews. Um, they have these crazy hot beers and the head retention just is not a thing. I don't understand why. Uh, my buddy Matt was commenting about it. He doesn't understand it. I don't know the science behind it. I don't know why that happens, but let's shove our fat nose in it. See what it smells like. Six weeks in the can, it's too old. <laughs> it smells like a bag of weed. Holy smokes, that beer is dank. There is nothing like when you think of typical lager, like you smell this, you'd be like, oh, this is an IPA. It's crazy how hoppy this beer is. It's dank, it's blueberry, it's fruity. Um, there is a sweetness. It has like that typical kind of lager sweetness, but it's so, so hoppy. It's crazy how dank, earthy, weedy it smells. And Mosaic does that. Like Mosaic is a hop that's really, really, I mean, if, you know, I mean, let's be honest, a lot of craft beer drinkers, a lot of beer drinkers in general smoke pot. Like, you know what that smells like. That mosaic does that. Yeah, it's got a sweetness, though. Um, what is that sweetness? I feel like it's like tropical, but I don't know. There's There's just like a generic sweetness there. But yeah, crazy, just... <laughs> dank blueberry super hoppy definitely does not smell like a lager it's crazy it's like you would never know blind this is a five percent beer this smells like a seven like a seven percent ipa so let's go and take a sip cheers i kind of wish i would have done this review like when this beer was dead fresh because it's like ridiculously intense um, but I kind of feel like with six weeks, like on this beer, it makes, I don't want to say it makes it more drinkable, but it's a little bit more approachable. Um, like if you're not into hoppy beer and someone, someone were to give this to you when it's really fresh, you probably wouldn't like it. All those, like the flavors that you're like the aroma that you were smelling, it's there on the flavor, but with like, you know, six weeks in the can, like it's kind of mellowed out a little bit. So it kind of is a little bit more drinkable, but holy smokes, it's still super hoppy. Dank, resinous, weedy, earthy blueberries. That's what that smells like. Um, crisp, 
super dry on the finish, um, but like tongue scrapingly hoppy. It's so good. I love hops and I love low alcohol beers. You guys know that we're hashtag team low ABV. We talk about it all the time. Um, so when something like this is brewed, like I said, I buy it, I buy a ton of it. Um, and now I know I usually drink it really, really fast just because it's so crushable. But now I know that these beers can sit in my fridge for a month and a half, a couple months, and they're still freaking delicious. So um, if you like that low alcohol kind of just crisp lager thing, but you're into hops and flavor, like this is what you need to be drinking if you're in San Diego. I don't know, like, is this a California thing? Um, I know Monkish does hoppy lagers. North Park does hoppy lagers. Um, Russian River, I think Dribble Bell does their hoppy lager. Like, are, are there other um, breweries in different states doing this? I don't know. I, I think this needs to be a thing. Um, I just, I love the 5% package. That, <laughs> how dare you? I just, I love a beer that's low in alcohol like that, 5%, but this much flavor. Um, we've done other, like, I was drinking, like, macro ice lagers that are almost 6%. They don't taste anywhere near this. There's just no flavor to them. Like, something like this, give me this all day long. Love it. So, this is world-class stuff. This is, I mean, it's not your typical lager. I don't know, like, how people are rating this on Untapped. I don't care, but I would take this over any other lager I can get. It's just so delicious. Holy smokes, I love it. So... Uh, that's Party Cup from North Park. Are you guys fans? I hope so. If you are in Southern California and you never had this beer, next time they do this beer, please buy it. Please drink it. And please tell me what you think of it. So that is it. I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.